Oh, Jesus, careful. Paul and I were sailing and we saw marine trash moving slowly through the water. It did end up being a humpback whale who was wrapped up like a mummy in, in this huge fishing net. We knew it was a huge risk. One entangled line on a leg would have meant that Paul would have been pulled under the water. She really couldn't move and I didn't want her to be able to move yet because if I cut her, her fins free, yeah, she could swim away and leaving everything else wrapped around her. I found rope and net uh, gagging her all the way in the back of her mouth. I got that out and she gave this huge yawn, like a sigh. When I found where the eyes were, they were closed because they were covered in nets. All that time, she couldn't see nothing about what was happening. Once she felt a little freedom, she got really calm, tranquil, and cooperated. And when you would stop cutting and grab onto it to pull back, she would wiggle to try to help you get it off of her. Like you guys were working together, it was crazy. I wanted you so much to free that whale. I'm gonna cry kind of now thinking about it, but I'm just gonna say it. You, you were struggling with some depression at that time. I mean, everybody, right? It was COVID time and we were feeling a bit, you especially just, kind of lost and kind of useless. <laughs> you, did it. you did it, Paul, oh my God. I wanted you to be successful because I knew you needed that. Feeling like you did something useful. Oh, she's happy. You're so welcome. It was so joyous. She undoubtedly would not have survived if we or someone hadn't intervened. I had the initial euphoria. And when she swam over to me and just in spy hopped, it was such an amazing feeling. This is all the net that was around her entire head in her baleen. The knowledge of 300,000 cetaceans, it's whales and dolphins, die getting tangled in these fishing nets. This was just one, but Thank you for doing that.